Hey guys, hello from Hong Kong. I'm in the Saikong area right now. Uh, so this area is really known for the fresh seafood. Ooh, and a blood. I don't know if you guys can see there's a blood moon right now. So people come here for the fresh seafood. It's kind of touristy, but I wanted to try it out. In the street in front of me, it's Hai Xing Gai. Hai Xing Gai. Hai Xing Gai. Yeah, Hai. 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 Hai Xing Gai. Yeah. Seafood street. So festive. I love it. And sadly, this is my last meal here in Hong Kong. So try to make it good. And just a quick shout out to Square Space who's sponsoring this video. Thank you so much. We'll talk more about them later. Now, let's go eat some seafood. Oh, look at that. Holy cow. The ladies here, they're gonna negotiate. Me and Ben. Just gonna hang out in the just, back. Yeah, we're gonna pretend we don't know anything. Which pretty much is the situation. I don't know much. Size of these king crabs. That looks like crab royalty, for sure. Oh, that's a huge abalone. Check out this. Look at this monster abalone. So this place, as soon as you walk into Seafood Street or anywhere around here, like vendors will just come up to you trying to drag you into their stores. So you gotta resist the temptation and find the best one. So I'm gonna try to find the best one for you guys. This one, like for the. They're the experts. They're, they're from here, so, so bad, I don't want to get in the way. I go like asking people <laughs> right yeah, now whether it's good or not. This is like some personal investigation stuff we're doing. Yes. The local yeah, he said, like, well, this is the only one here. that he would go to. Oh, wow. That's impressive. All right, let's go. Oh. It's a minted shrimp. Yeah. It's a minted shrimp. Uncover the crab, please. Okay. There you go. The crab is there. That looks really good. That shrimp paste. This one has shrimp paste? Yeah. Good. Look at that. Shrimp paste inside. I love the minted shrimp. I'm going to try this, Mike. Oh, man. That minted shrimp is awesome. Did you guys know? Minted shrimp has the fastest punch of any creature. Mightiest punch, meaning Christian on Earth. This thing could have smacked me in the face and broke my nose, but eh, too bad it's already cooked. Oh. Do you have a reaction face, Ben? A food reaction face? I see it, buddy. It is good. It's not it's really good. Why are you making fun of Ben? Extra juice on the scallops and bourbon chili noodles. Garlic, but get more of that sauce. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is all roasted garlic. Ah, garlic is good. Mm. That is a tender scallop. Oh, that's really tender scallop. <laughs> It's good clams, it's a little sandy. Mm, I know. The scallop is really good. The scallop is really tender. Hey, I didn't know I was at this restaurant already. Interesting. Alright, good to know. Uh, J-A-L. Plan is, I'm flying to Seattle right now to look for an apartment. I, I don't have a place to live yet. And I only have about one and a half days to find an apartment. So as soon as I get to Seattle, I hit the ground running, gotta start looking as many as I can. And um, basically make a decision because that's all I have. If not, I'm moving to Seattle, I have no place to live. I will be flying back on uh, JAL, Japan Airlines. I think I flew on them a couple times in the past in business class, but let's see if the food's good. Food in the lounge so far, not the best. So the flight connection is in Narita. Let's see what's on the menu today. As always, all the Japanese airlines, JAL or ANA, they provide two different types of courses. One is uh, Japanese, of course, and one is Western. And I usually get the Japanese option because we're on the Japanese airline, so get the Japanese option. So April is steamed sea bream with seaweed sauce, grilled chicken miso sauce. And then, of course, a little box of small yeats. And the Western is basically a beef tenderloin. So we're gonna go for the Japanese option, as always.
don't say this a lot, but these veggies are so good. Japanese meals are so intricately designed. This looks like a really pretty mental box, except for it tastes much, much, much better. Shrimp and egg. Not really into that. Uh, this just tastes like really, I think it's tofu. A little too gooey for me. A little squid. Squid was so good. It's fish tofu. It's chicken with Sebring. This is a little pack of rice. It tastes a little sake in this as well. The Sebring one in our hands, a little dry. Uh, but this chicken is great. Usually it's the other way around. I'm gonna eat and take a nap. I just slept maybe two, three hours last night. in a few months, Japan. I think it's to have to go with the Japanese menu. First time I ever chose something that was over white, they have these like, whenever you want kind of dishes, and they change it up, so now. There's curry soy meat fajita, ugh. Japanese suta ramen. The suta ramen is a Michelin star ramen place in Japan. That's gonna be amazing. Hot udon, salmon bagel, huh. Pork color sandwich. Of course, Hagen Dazs. I love these anytime you wish things. Thank you so much. Yeah. Every time I come to Japan, even though it's a layover, like, it hurts me a bit, you know? Because I want to stay just a few more months. I'll be back for a long time. So, the JAL business class, it's got the dimming windows. It's really nice. And you get this little, little walkway here, kind of this little cabin by myself. But there's like a neighbor right, right over there. So after you take off, you can put up the separation. You get a lot of privacy. Little table thing here, because I have like tons of stuff, and the screen is massive. So usually, when I what I do to record videos in um, on the airplane, I need a microphone. This way, with this thing, I don't actually talk all that loud. Like you can barely hear me. If you're sitting next to me, you won't be able to hear me with this. And the space for your leg is actually really nice and wide, so it doesn't go like diagonal into a triangle like a lot of business airline flights. And I got a pretty nice view out the window. Oh, 
soup is actually amazing. My only complaint is these two dishes are not great with rice. They're not really saucy dishes. Actually, of everything, I think the soup is the best thing on this plate. I, I changed into the pajamas, but my cleavage is showing. get used to flying to this airport so this is how I normally have to have to get on a plane in New York I have to take my car from my house and drive it to my parents neighborhood in Queens um, and park it on their street and then take an Uber to the airport here I'm hoping just to go from my apartment straight to the airport I'm in this area for a couple days and my sole purpose is basically I need to find an apartment I have two days to find a place to live and that starts right now Okay, let's go apartment hunting. I'm in this, uh, this I guess a suburb called Redwood. And uh, so that apartment, they're full. I never even considered like what if all the places are full. Look, it's a pretty big gym. Bike room. It's a top floor, one bedroom. So this is the next apartment I'm at. This is the bedroom, there's no door. Bathroom, so very artistic. I want is a apartment with a shower stall. How many of you take baths? Good morning from, where am I? Bell, Bellevue, Seattle? I'm somewhere around Seattle. Last night, I, I wanted to go out to eat, but I literally got in my room about five o'clock. I didn't sleep for about uh, two, maybe a day and a half, so it just completely crashed. Woke up at midnight, then fell back asleep. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. I've got to go get some food. I, Let's go, let's go. I'm gonna stream today too. If you don't know, I have a Twitch channel. Link is below, twitch.tv slash with Mikey. Let's go, let's go stream. This is the Pike's Market. A little donut fountain. The first thing I want is a bite of this donut. Bacon caramel donut. <laughs> Trust me, you may not know it, but you do want this right now. Oh, this bacon is still crispy, I love that. Breakfast. I want some barbecue. This is Pike's Place Barbecue. Heard from a fan, this is amazing. So we'll see. Oh, my plate is being constructed. There's my damn hot sauce. <laughs> I like how uh, the meats have a little cap here. That's adorable. So I got some brisket and pork. Now the pork looks really juicy. Comes apart pretty easily. Looks pretty good. The brisket, the outside looks great. Beautiful smoke ring. Look at this, it kind of looks like a little Brisket rainbow, right? I'll tell you guys right now, there's a chance this might be really dry. Five meat chili, that's always good. And the best potato salad, and the damn hot sauce. Let's give this a try. Mm. That's smoky pork. Wow. This is one of those pork dishes that the flavor gets better as you chew. Oh, it gets much, much better. It's much smokier. Oh man. If you dig down deep, it gets better. Uh, that is really, really good. Mm. <laughs> that actually might be the best potato salad I've had. They're not kidding about that potato salad. 
No, she finished. They put bacon in here. <laughs> the hot sauce looks legit. We'll mix this in a little, little bit. Let's try with the hot sauce. Wow, that's great hot sauce, man. We still keep the flavor of them. Nice meats. Craziest smoke ring I've ever seen in a brisket. Really smoky, but it's way too dry. Unfortunately, potato salad. God, it's the first time something with a salad in the name becomes my favorite thing on a platter of barbecued meats. But potato salad's my favorite thing here. And then the chili and the pork ties. These are equally good. That is just way too dry. All right, so this is the seafood bisque, and this is the market chowder. Oh, that market chowder is so good. That'll warm your soul up. I mean, creamy, obviously, but the halibut's got a nice mouthfeel to it. It's really chewy. And dewy sausage, good lord. This thing is like Seattle meets New Orleans right here. Corn should be in every chowder, because that's just a great textural thing. Let me, let me eat the sausage. Oh, this is so good. There's a great smoky flavor to this. This is like, I'm sorry, much better than barbecue. Oh, this soup is so good. This, this is way more fragrant. They put a great basil in here. Okay, this is definitely the chunkier version, the meatier version, but this is just more fragrant. Good morning from Flushing. Woohoo! Finally home! Top of that building kind of looks like a temple. Tonight I'm going to like an opening for a noodle place. I'm so excited. Uh, but right now, I, have, I don't think I've eaten food in like, since that nasty sandwich I had on Delta's flight. So I'm gonna go do a little streaming, and the topic of the stream will be breakfast. Breakfast time, and we're gonna go to check this place. I haven't been here in a while. Getting some fish for breakfast, some buns, some pancakes, and some tofu brain soup. Literal translation, tofu brains. And it's basically just a tofu soup with wood ear. There's usually some preserved vegetables in there. It's something we eat for breakfast in China. Now this is a northern Chinese dish because in the south they eat sweet tofu, in the north we eat savory. And there's some hot oil in here. And you see it's very thick, right? It's very thick. It's a very starchy soup and it's something we love to eat with some pancakes. Mm. This place serves one of the best tofu brains and flushing. You know, all Chinese people are tofu zombies. That's why we love tofu brains so much. That's so good. I really need some. Look how big this crepe is. It's mad. Look at this. Oh. And this dough, if you look at it, it's not regular flour dough. It's actually a dough with a mix of flour and mung beans. And then you have some sweet bean sauce. Inside you have some eggs mixed with the dough. And inside that you have what are these like little fried uh, fritters that are just made for this pancake so that when you take a bite, it's savory, it's soft, at the same time it's crunchy, and it's just a, such a fulfilling, beautiful pancake. It's one of the most popular street food items in China. Mm. The inside is crunchy and airy. This is basically a lot of carbs and eggs. This is hefty. So what you wanna do, take a bite of pancake. Oh man, that is so good. You guys ready for the ultimate dive? You ready for this? Should be a Olympic events. Look at that. We're going in. Oh, look at that. Mm. Oh, man. I wish you guys could taste this. This is my favorite fish in the world. This is in Korean. It's called a hair tail fish. And this thing was probably a day old because they definitely didn't cook this this morning, but it's still okay. It's like a fish steak. There's bones on each side, and there's a rib in the middle. A lot of meat. This is what a lot of uh, northern Chinese we grew up eating, and it's amazing. You take the bone on one side out, you see that nice meat right there? Really, really good stuff. It's really easy to debone this fish. One of the tastiest fish out there. I don't know how well it goes with this, but I just wanted some of this on its own. This is only breakfast number one, by the way. Right, let's go to breakfast number two. So next place I'm going to is Shanghai Yu Garden. Probably my favorite Shanghainese restaurant in New York. Oh yeah. Hey guys. Guess what we're getting? This is one of my favorite places because their soup dumpling is probably the second best or third best in this entire New York. And they'll give you a free basket if you just order over $10 worth of food. You're gonna order over $10 worth of food for sure here. So, free soup dumpling, $10 worth of food. Such a good deal. 
Mm, I'm getting some soup dumplings. Usually soup dumplings, you just add some vinegar, some sliced ginger, and that's it. I'm gonna just dump some vinegar onto this thing. I need my chili fished nice and vinegary. We have to go for some hot oil. Oh, their hot oil is kind of weird. Give that a nice stir. My free soup dumpling is here. <laughs> some of the best soup dumplings in New York City, I kid you not, absolutely free. Come get your free soup dumplings. This is why I don't like places like Ding Tai Fung. This thing could eat a Ding Tai Fung soup dumpling. It could eat two of Ding Tai Fung soup dumpling. And the key of eating a soup dumpling is to not break the soup dumpling. <gasps> no, it broke. Oh, I failed you. But look how much soup was in that little dumpling diaper. Dumpling has fallen. It's got spewed everywhere on this bamboo basket. This is just unwashable. Moment of silence for the fallen dumpling. That's a good soup dumpling, especially because it's free. It makes it taste at least three times better. Free, three, three times. Come on, soup dumpling, don't break. Okay, we see a tear. We're trying to surgically maneuver it. Lift it into the spoon. I can just go ahead and add the vinegar, a little bit of ginger. Mm. Oh, I love their wontons here. Mainly because they're made with this vegetable called ji cai, which is a great vegetable for wontons. And also, look how big the filling is. It's like this wonton swallowed another wonton. I'm gonna go for more of the oil here because I kind of suspect that the sauce is not what I want. I love it when my soup turns bloody. And inside of a wonton, look at that, pork and ji cai. Mm. They're one of my favorite wontons in New York. And this is great. If you cut your wonton in half, you fill the other half full of soup. Mm. And they make their dumplings fresh every day here. If you guys don't know how the soup goes in a soup dumpling, it's actually soup dumpling elves injecting magic. Just kidding. So they, they put the gelatinous stuff, the fat in a fridge and the then they can put it into the bun and then when they steam it, it becomes soup. But just tell your friends it's from like the magic soup dumpling elves. I mean, if Keeblers can do it, we can do it, right? <laughs> Finally home. I haven't been home in like a month. Finally I'm able to sleep in my, my own bed. I'm so excited to see these woods. Last time I was here, it was still freezing cold. <sighs> Although I'm moving soon, it just feels so good to be here. I'm about to go play a movie and turn the volume way up. I can't do that when I move to Seattle into an apartment building. It's good to be home. And like I said in the beginning of this video, it is sponsored by Squarespace. And if you guys don't know what that is, it's a great tool to build a website, especially if you have zero design experience or programming experience. So uh, my first couple websites, I think if it wasn't for Squarespace, I literally would have nothing because I have zero artistic cells in my body. I can't program worth anything. And with Squarespace, there's a lot of award-winning designs, templates. It's basically drag and drop. It's so easy, even I could do it. And I always say, if I could do it, you guys can do it because I'm not the smartest when it comes to this stuff. Anyway, if you guys want to get started on your own website or you're trying to start your own business, definitely check out Squarespace. And if you want 10% off your Squarespace order, uh, just go to squarespace.com slash Mikey Chen and use the promo code Mikey Chen. And that link is also available for you guys in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching. See you later.